What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? Um, yeah. Okay. So check this out. Um, no, it's not um a situation of any type of gloating or anything for me. Trust the plus. I'm not feeling good about reporting this story because at the end of the day, a young, beautiful, innocent princess is no longer with us. And, and I want us to be mindful as we talk about what's going on with this story that at root, there's a beautiful young princess that was taken away from us. Um, with that being said, Sip Nation, myself included, uh, want to take just a brief moment of silence in remembering that. Now, y'all know me. Y'all know I go in. But at the same time, we got to understand and be mindful that there's a, not only a mother and a father, but a family, a community, um, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, friends that are also grieving at this time. So, um, we're going to do that right quick, and then we'll talk about what's going on. And I'm going to let y'all know from the get-go what it is and how we feel about it. So, right now, we're gonna I'm going to turn the comments off. And we're going to um, get into it. Turn the comments off for the moment of silence. That's a serious note because somewhere somebody's grieving. Now, I have been saying for months that the person y'all refer to as the real boo boo, real boo boo, beetle drew, whatever her name is, that I know as just E. Cut Dupart, I thought she was the devil. I told y'all I thought she was the devil. I told y'all. That I think this woman is evil. I believe she uses kids to sell and peddle them products that don't work. I believe she's built not only herself and her brain off the backs of poor black innocent children. As well as the gullibility of black people. When it comes to her gimmicks and schemes to sell them products. I have said that habitually for three months. I have been called a hater. I have been called a liar. Even though I've proven everything that I was talking about. I have been accused of 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 uh, hiring the Kaleida kids and paying them to say this or that. I have been accused of um, malicious and ill intent. I have been accused of, and, 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 and this one case was personal enough for me so much so that I ended up crying on live one day because it hurt me so much that a uh, that some woman we call a black woman, and I must, I wanna, I'm gonna take her out the black community because this is not a black woman doing this to black kids, and I, it's just not possible. And and so this is why I feel like this monster needs to be excavated from from whatever this demon of a woman that y'all call. There's nothing more trite or evil than this woman I have seen in my entire life, in my entire existence. And I've been on this planet 37 years. I've been, I've, I've been, a, I've been a prison and everything, and I have not seen nobody more deserve it, more deserve servant of 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 punishment and so i say that with, with that much conviction um i knew in august that this case was filed august this case was filed i knew maybe early august because while she is getting sued i am being sued by jessica dupont I am being sued. While she is getting sued, I am being sued. I'll be Jessica and the brat sue me first. I saw this lawsuit pop up as well. As y'all know, because I'm being sued by them and defending myself and winning, the federal court gave me a login to, to the PACER system, which is the Public Access Court Reporting Electronically, whatever it's uh, whatever it stands for acronym. And it's the electronic way that you can find out anybody's case or anything that's going on in the federal court system. So, of course, in the scope of looking up information that aids in my defense for my own case, I saw what other cases Jessica DuPart had been a part of. And this one popped up. Now, 
as you know, we have discussed how, and I've been saying this, even though I might not have been able to tell y'all this, but I have been saying how ruthless and cunning and, and much in control this woman wants to be. And we talked about how on the, on the anniversary of this girl's birthday, she posted pictures by the pool. And now we discover why Shaker was going so hard. Now we discover why Shaker was so adamant about knowing how much evil that this woman, this woman cultivates and curates. You have no, now it's coming to fruition. But let's get, so we're going to get into it and we're going to look at that case and then I'm going to spill one more piece of drop of tea by the end of this video. So please stay tuned because there is a reason. So you say, well, why shit are you coming out of here today? Well, the court actually updated their stuff today. And so I was then able to discover what actually came about it. And even so much that Andy Mama, which is Miss Kim, did not even know what was what I'm about to tell you. Okay. So let's first look at the original complaint. You never knew about the case because the case just happened. The case just happened in August, baby. Now, if you don't know what's going on, I'm telling you, you could catch up on YouTube. Um, it's all there on YouTube. Just start with a video. MC Shaky goes into the Collider Concentration Camp and you start there and you work your way up. So the question is about what happened, how this happened, and who this is. Don't even ask them. They're not be going. They're not gonna be. Um, they're not gonna be discussed because it's discussed already. It's already been discussed. Check it. Don't drop names. You all, y'all, stop dropping a child's name. Why not? Why we can't talk about this? This beautiful young girl. Everybody knows who she is. So let's get into it. Let's get into because it's it's in a case. It's see once it hits once it hits the courthouse, it becomes public information. This case is not sealed, so anybody can look it up. Anybody can talk about it. You cannot stop nobody. The the homeowners insurance have so listen for the people that saying the homeowners insurance should have paid for it and all that stuff like that. Hold hold your comments at, at least to that because at the same time um, they did sue the homeowners in, as, as well. But at the same time, the homeowner was, 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 was according to the, the docket report, was taken off. Bonnets are, the, these bonnets are available at Sip Cosmetics down there. Y'all can't have it if y'all want to talk about it or not. It's, it's public information. It's public record. Anything that's in the public, I can say anything. Once it hit the public record, it can be talked about. It's not a, it's not a thing to say, oh, this is this, this not a sealed court document. Any reporter, anybody can talk about this. Okay. So the people trying to make a defense for her, please don't do that. Don't do that. Queen, don't do that. If don't don't make do not make no defenses for her. Not over here. Get if you need to defend Judy in this and you are trying to advocate that she uh, is at least not in part negligent for this, then this ain't the lie for you. This ain't the page for you. Press that X button and go to her page and talk about it. Please don't do that. I'm going to block you without hesitation. If you think for one second, I'm going to let you hear and say that she's not at least partly responsible for this angel, for the tragedy that this before this little angel. If you if you're that cold hearted person and try to make a excuse for her, you will be blocked without hesitation. I don't care who you are. I don't care if I've been knowing you a hundred years because there's no way, no how you're going to sit down and tell me that oh this should happen. Homeowners insurance, no. How about we take accountability for, for somebody that's something that's happened? When did she ever say sorry? When did she ever apologize outside the first day when she was looking for clout? When did when did she ever in life what gives you the right in your mind to post on the, the anniversary of the the anniversary of this girl's birthday sitting by the pool? This woman has that this woman not only has exasperated the situation, this woman not only is negligent for the situation, she's exasperated the situation by being such a ruthless, cold hearted individual. So at the same time, if you are over here, if you are over here and you are over here advocating for her, please exit stage left because you're not gonna like this. Okay? Um, who's telling me get to the story? Listen, if you don't like how I spill tea, sister, you can also exit stay left. And just for that, I'm going to sit here and look at you for the next five minutes. Don't you ever on here tell me how I spill tea. Look, I like it when there's 200 people in there. If you want to catch up, it's on YouTube. You can catch up on YouTube. So at the same time, don't tell me how, to, how, why, when, where. If you don't like it, you can easily press that X button. I don't care about numbers. 
If you can press that X button. If you don't like how I talk about it, if you don't like what I say about it, plain and simple, go get it from somebody else. We're not finna do that. This ain't finna be that type of thing. This is Sip Nation. This is Sippers. This is how it's always been. This is how we always do it. We always talk about it like this. So don't tell me about, oh, get to it and stuff like that. The next person says something like that, go get it from somewhere else. Catch it on the replay. You ask the stupid stuff and if that ever came for her, this ain't what you want, sir. This ain't what you want. You tell me, rush, hurry up like you got to go somewhere. Catch it on the replay, sister. This is how we do it. This is how we've been doing it. And that's what we're going to do. And if you don't like that, I apologize to you. I'm so sorry. But you need to just go ahead and exit the stage left because you're not going to like this. Okay? Any other questions before I, before I continue? Or like I was so rudely interrupted? Sipcosmetics.net or where the bond is at. All right. So check this out. This document filed August 5th in the United States District Court of the Eastern District of Louisiana is Miss Kaya Walker, individually in her capacity as representative for the succession of Andy Bovey, which is the little baby, Sue Jessica Faye Dupart, Sh Shania Solek, which is Shay. Kaleidoscope Hair Products and Auto Owners Insurance Company, which is the insurance. Okay? That's what was done. Let me show y'all. This was done on this date. It was filed August 5th, 2020. This is the Eastern District. And let me show y'all. And So this is what it is. This is Payson. Now, when you go to Payson, you type in her name, you get these two things. One, of course, is that, that lawsuit right there, Walker versus DuPont. And the other, of course, is when she's suing me. That's Dupont versus Russell. All right. As you can see, we got part of it closed. This part of it still open to go up for uh, on October twenty first. So check this out. So this is the one that we're looking for, the Walker versus Dupont. And here's the docket entries. The complaint was filed August fifth, twenty twenty, and this is what the complaint alleges. And we're gonna talk about it, and we're gonna go into it. All right. So it, the first part is just saying who everybody is, where they are, and stuff like that. So that's what you get. Who is everybody, what they is, and why they have uh, any say in what's going on here. That's just the first part. The second part is talking about why it could be tried here, okay, um, in Louisiana. It talks about kaleidoscope. Now, this is what I was saying about the insurance company. Here you go. Auto Owners Insurance Company, a foreign insurance company, which at all times principal had enforced a, in fact, a policy of liability insurance issued to Jessica and or Kaleidoscope, which provided liability insurance coverage for the events of complaint, the hearing. So they did actually sue the homeowners insurance company too, but they were dismissed from the lawsuit and we'll get into that in a minute. Um, all times Kaleidoscope. So it talks about the business. Um, it talks about Shea, which is Solar Check, being an employee of Jessica Dupart. And acting in the course and scope of her employment so that just Jessica Boussard and Kaleidoscope are vicariously responsible for the acts of fault and neglect Shania Solix set forth herein. More specifically, Solik's job was to work as the personal assistant for Ms. DuPort, performing any task Ms. DuPort requested her to perform. And Ms. Solik acting in the course and scope of her employment as Ms. DuPort's personal assistant at the time of the events complained herein. If you go to McDonald's and you order coffee and that coffee is too hot and you burn your tongue. You don't just sue the worker who gave you the coffee. You have to sue that worker's employer, which is McDonald's. So that is why this is this is part of her responsibility. In case you didn't know, that is the law. You cannot get around that as far as when it comes to businesses and stuff like that. By, by, by Shay working under the direction of Judy, she was at that point an employee. So then, so there's no difference. If you sip in the floor, sip and fall at Walmart and you sue Walmart, you don't just you don't sue the worker. You may you know you don't you, the worker. You sue the employer. Understand that that's a tried practice in this country. So that's why at that time this is how Jessica gets the Jessica, aka Big Booty Judy, gets to be part of this lawsuit. She was she was the employer to Shea, who acted in negligence. So then she does become at fault. You understand that? Okay. Somebody said, why report public knowledge? Why come up in here and listen to it? Goodbye. <laughs> like, for real? That's what you're saying? So all these companies, and understand that, don't forget, 
when all these drops start burning people head off, don't know what's, know what it is. All right, so it goes on to say, all, 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 all times pertinent to the mother was a popular professional maker artist who was regularly employed by celebrities and other persons to assist in preparing for parties and other events. Uh, she's also the mother. So the first count is wrongful death and survivorship. During 2019, the finger depart occupied a residence in Arlington's parish where she had been rented by Kalasco. She was rented. Or by an incident related to college for Mr. Pye's use. During the time, Judy frequently called Ms. Walker to come to the residence or this sister and make up so that Juice that Ms. DuPart would have a flawless appearance at a party or event where Ms. DuPart was, DuPart was scheduled to make an appearance representing Kaleidoscope. On most all of the other occasions when Ms. Walker assisted with Ms. DuPart's makeup, persons pursuant to a mutual agreement between Ms. DuPart and Ms. Walker, Ms. Walker would bring her four year old daughter Andy with her to the makeup session and Ms. DuPart would assign Ms. Sholek, which is Shay, to supervise Andy while Ms. Walker was working so that Ms. Walker would not be distracted. On September 5th, 2019, Ms. DuPart was scheduled to attend a party to promote Kaleidoscope product line. Ms. DuPart called Ms. Walker to come and assist her with party makeup as Ms. Walker came to Ms. DuPart's request. As usual, Ms. Walker brought Andy with her. As usual, Ms. DuPart assigned Ms. Sholek to supervise Andy with Ms. Walker while Ms. Walker worked on Ms. DuPart's makeup. Ms. Sholek took Andy outdoors into the yard and guarded every residence so that Andy, now this is exclusive now, this is exclusive. This is what it's saying. Ms. Sholik took, this is, I understand this is court documents. This is actually filed court documents part of the complaint. And we're going to get into more of it. I just had to let you, this is actual, what is the meat of the case. Okay? You had no idea Judy was involved. Judy is heavily involved, sister. Somebody said, give us a recap, please. Sister, you're going to get the whole video when it goes on YouTube. There will be no recaps. No. She is she in culpability with her employer will be considered negligent in my opinion at this point. Let's read on. This is you know. Alright. Ms. Shea took and Andy outdoors into the yard and go and air the residence so that Andy could play while Ms. Walker worked undistracted. There was a swimming pool in the area. And they did not know how to swim. And Ms. Shalok was aware of this because she had been told this on previous occasions when she had to supervise Andy. Ms. Shalok followed Andy to play in the vicinity of the pool without requiring Andy to put on a life vest or use any other personal protective device. At this time, Ms. Shalok was get, having some kind of personal issue, which on information and belief was some type of dispute with her boyfriend. While Ms. Shalok was supervising Andy by the pool, Ms. Shalok received a personal phone call relating to this issue. And Ms. Shalok was wish. Ms. Shulak wished to speak privately with the caller. Ms. Shulak could have asked the caller to wait and speak with her later, or alternatively, Ms. Shulak, Shulachek, Shulachek, I pronounced it, I'm going to just say Shay, y'all. <laughs> Shay could have taken Andy back indoors and returned Andy to her mother's supervision so that Shay could have an immediate, undisturbed conversation. However, Shay decided to leave Andy alone and unsupervised by the pool while Shay went indoors to speak privately to her caller. Without telling Ms. Walker or anyone else that she was leaving Andy, super, under, Andy unsupervised, Ms. Shea went into the indoor room where she could speak privately with her caller, but she would not be able to supervise Andy. Then, M Shea spent approximately 10 to 30 minutes on the phone carrying on personal conversations. Um, Ms. Walker was working on Ms. DuPont's makeup and the pool was not visible from her workstation, so Ms. Walker had no way to know that Andy had been left unsupervised by the pool. When Shea completed her conversation, she ran to the pool area with the intention of resuming supervision of Andy. Unfortunately, while Shea was on the phone, Andy had fallen into the pool and drowned. Shea raised the alarm, but Andy could not be revived and was pronounced dead at the scene. Andy's death was the result or fault of Miss Shea in the following respects. Negligence in allowing Andy to play unsupervised by the pool without wearing a light vest, and she knew that Andy was able to swim. Negligence in failing to notify Ms. Walker or any other responsible adult that she intended to see supervising Andy in order to take personal phone call. Such other acts of fault or negligence as may he be proven herein, hereafter, and plaintiff specifically pleaded the doctrine of res is by loquita. Um, which basically means there's more stuff that we could bring about at trial. Not Stuff that's in the initial complaint, but mitigating circumstances. So there's actually more to it. All right. So this is the case about Judy. Ju 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 
Ms. Dupont and Kaleidoscope are vicariously liable for the default and neglect of Ms. Sh Ms. of Shea, and auto insurance company is liable under the terms and conditions of the policy. Additional alternative on information and belief, Ms. Dupont and Kaleidoscope were ne negligent in employing Ms. Shea for the task assigned to her because at the time Ms. Shea was assigned to watch and Ms. Dupont and Kaleidoscope knew or should have known that Ms. Sh that Shea had personal issues which made her unsuitable to be placed in charge of a young child. Plaintiff will show the defendant's wrongful acts causes damages plaintiffs pre-death mental and physical anguish to Andy, funeral expenses of Andy, Ms. Wa so, the, so the funeral that she put, that Miss Judy pretended like she paid for, why is she being sued for it now? Ms. Walker has suffered a loss of consortium, including when I limited to the loss of services, society, support, love, affection, and companionship of Andy, and other acts that will be demonstrated at trial of this matter. The complaint prays for general equitable relief, prejudgment, and post-judgment interest, and all parts, expert witnesses, fees to be taxed, cost to the court, plan to request trial by jury, on all issues trial by jury. And wherefore, um, and so that is it. This is a civil cover sheet. They ask how much she's asking for. It's $2 million on a jury demand. She's asking for $2 million. Um, and they were served shortly thereafter. Everybody was served. I think they was having trouble finding Shay, but we're going to get a kaleidoscope, the insurance company, and everything. So let's go back to here. And so, okay. So, <sighs> child. It's heavy. This is heavy. This is very heavy. This is very heavy. This is heavy. All right. Now, true enough, if this trial goes to jury, the jury could set aside the $2 million and give her anything she wants. Um, That's true. So, I'm just saying. But, she asked it to me. The lawyer asked it to me. All right. I'm looking for where they actually took. All right. So this is the part I was, this is the part when they talk about the insurance company. So check this out. All right. This is what's called a voluntary dismissal. This means that Andy's mama took the insurance company off. The insurance company, the lawyer, Took the insurance company off the lawsuit. There's a couple reasons why why that could have happened. One, they could have settled out of court for an undisclosed amount, so it wouldn't make it to the public record. And part of the settlement agreement was that they be left off the left off the, the case, and so that could have happened. I don't know. I don't have any. Pub, there's no public record of that, and there would not be a public record of that because it would be out of court, and it would be. And most settlements they come for not having. The, the whole point of a settlement is to be sealed. That might be one reason. Number two, the lawyer representing Andy Mama might not have felt that the policy would cover this situation. It might be something else that the policy would cover, like such as um, appliances or something get broke. Not necessarily that actual something like that. Not that much a liability. That's two. Um, that could have happened. And so the lawyer said, well, look, I, you know, okay, whatever. Um, number three that could have happened is that the attorney could have felt that there was not enough evidence to um, bring the insurance company on. So the insurance company at press time is not part of the lawsuit. Understand? But everybody else is still, however, part of the lawsuit. Y'all got it? Now, in my mind, I just was on there posting four, five million dollars like it was nothing. I just brought the brat a Bentley for, for so, tricking off to a strap. So therefore, what is it to me to say, you know what, ma'am? I'm so sorry about what happened to your child. Is that's if, if, if that part, I, I, nothing can bring this child back, and I understand that. But I just posted five million. I just tricked off to my 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 this dude that this the the, the brat boring self that's using me. The least I can do. Is try to bring some comfort or justice to your life by giving you this money, and I would have wrote the check. I'm so sorry. If you need anything else, please let me know. That seems like a, a smart thing to do. 
any business owner or person that just got their line into family brands, why would you allow your brand to go through? It's going to cost you more not only to defend this, but it's going to cost you more also to um, for the for the, people are now going to see that you had a part in a four year old's death at your place of business house, whatever you want to call it, by one of your employees. I don't get that. So what do you think? And so this is the part that not even Andy Mamas knew. This is the part that not even Andy Mama knew. I was thinking in my mind, oh, Judith is going to settle this one because she sued me. And and, 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 and and so she got other things to worry about. She's going to write this check because, of course, you don't want this to hit the airwaves like that. People are going to see that you're being sued for $2 million because of being negligent. Not just you, your company as well. What what smart, sane person want that on their record? Guess who? Somebody said she will have $2 million and her baby won't come back. So what's the purpose? It's to... The, the purpose, my dear... For not, See, you're just a dummy for saying that. The purpose, my dear, is that... Even in the case that you could say anything, they all the time do that because of the simple fact that what it does, it brings about some type of justice to the situation. Judy and them ducked the criminal charges by donating to the police and never thinks, you know, they have a new thing. So they ducked the criminal charges, but the civil charges was this next thing. The same way, like OJ people, um, even with OJ and them, remember that, that happened? Like they couldn't get him on the criminal trial but the civil trial was to say listen we know you did it so we're going to make your pockets hurt for this negligence yes even with i say brianna taylor i'm so sorry to bring that up as well but at the same time this is not a situation of bringing a child back that's not nobody thought that nobody said that and that's not what the complaint outlines the complaint outlines the propensity in which how this was handled and it wasn't funeral expenses that's just basic stuff It's to hold her accountable for what happened. It's justice. I, if she wanted this woman money, she could have put $40 million on there. Or she could have took a screenshot of when she was boasting and bragging. She got $5 million in this count, $4 million in this count, six hundred all this. And I would took a screenshot. I want all of you. I want all of that. No. She kept it to a, 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 a... And then I'm sure that came from the advisement of her attorney. Now, at the same time, you don't even trip because what happens is the jury can still set that aside and say, oh, no, $2 million not enough. Let's give her $22 million. They can do that too. The jury has that problem. So at the same time, how else do you so this how else do you defeat this dragon that went ahead? I was How do you how do you slay a dragon that duck criminal charges so she can't get justice that way by donating to the police force? Well, you have to do this. You have to sue civilly because you can't do it criminally at that same time. You understand what I'm saying? So at the same time, don't think that this woman is trying to make some money. And I hate when you people do that to justify this bitch. Stop that. Shay didn't watch the child. Shay, you equally is in trouble. You equally is, is, is wrong. But the person that put you into position to watch the child is also equally wrong. While somebody is, is trying to make something pretty out of that ugly ass face she had. Bonnet available at SipCosmetics.net. And it's not even about the money. Y'all always think it's about the money. It's about how... Thank you, Michael. And in case y'all don't know who that is, it's a little James, Mom. How could you even co-sign this? The people that's co-signing this, I'm going to pray for y'all the hardest. Because this is what Judy did. Do you think Judy said, listen, 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 lady. I am so sorry for what's going on. Did you think she offered some kind of condolences? Do you think she even went in and said, you know what? Let's get this. Let's, 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 and this will be my next post. Let's try to come up with some type of situation where we can even, maybe even set up some type of fund for her. That, a fund or something that teaches little kids how to swim. Or, or something like that. Or let's do something like that. Let's put something together in the name of her. That the children at the ages of small ages, small children learn how to swim. Or something of that case so this doesn't happen again. Or let's make sure that all pools have somebody, have at least some type of monitoring or something system in them. Do you think she do that? Do you think she said, let me reach out to you and see how we can avoid this amicably? Do you think Jessica, Jess E. Cut DuPont did that? 
Do you think Jess E. Cub DuPont did the right thing? Did she do the right thing about Lil James and let him out the contract? Nope. Did she do the right thing about any other Kalada kids? Dylan and CIA and Ross and Mac and um, Zori. Do, do, do you think she did anything right by them? She promised them, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. The iPads for Christmas for promoting that garbage. And guess what them children did? Promoted it something and they didn't get no iPad, no nothing. Do you think she said, well, let me just send y'all the, um, the iPad was on sale the other day. I just saw $1.99. Do you think this millionaire? No. What she did? She went to the sex store and bought the brat another, another dildo. And you sit up here justifying that? And, and so at the same time, you would think at least this has to be it. After all your lies, Judy, after all your corruption, Judy, after all your finagling, Judy, after all the hair follicles because you have destroyed, Judy, after all of that, you would think your stupid, slouchy, box fan built ass would do one thing right. And that's say, look, this don't even need to be in the courthouse. What it is that we could do to make this as close to right as possible. You think she would do that, right? No. 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 You know what Judy did? Judy fought it. Let's bring it up. Judy has, and this is the, and I told you I was going to bring, not even the mama knew this. Generally, you file something, it's in the court probably like a day or two later. And so this is how I found what happened today because she filed it on Wednesday. And so I was actually going to look up something for my case. But I actually ended up coming. I said, I know she didn't answer. And I'm thinking, if that answer is not a settlement agreement, what could she answer? Why could she answer? And lo and behold, Judy, Jessica F. DuPont has an answer. Let's read the answer. It's going to cost me 70 cents. I ain't tripping. So Judy answers... And it's hurt me to say, one of the reasons that this woman is suing is because of the mental anguish aspect of what she had to go through as, as far as the mother of this child. And I want you to know what this bitch, what this bitch really said. This Chrysler built bitch. This she said. She said the allegations contained in the paragraph one deny. <laughs> the allegations do not require response. Listen to this. This is what she's telling. This woman about what happened to her child. I don't even want to dignify that response. She's fighting this and then fighting this, throwing this in this woman's face as if it never happened. She didn't even take some of the times to even acknowledge what was going on. The allegations... That Miss Dupont regularly attends designated promotion events as the company's, so she admitted that. The allegations contain paragraphs is complete for damage or denied, except to admit that Miss she was her personal sentence. Sentence. The allegations deny, except to admit that she had a homeowner's homeowner's policy, except it was written. The allegations contain a complaint or deny for written of lack of sufficient information to justify a belief therein. Basically, she's lying. She didn't put enough to make you think she was being real. Is what Jessica's saying. The allegations contained in paragraph 9 deny. Except to admit the fact that Ms. Jim in an apartment and only his parents on occasion hired Ms. Walker to do a makeup. The allegations deny. The allegations deny. The allegations deny. The allegations deny. Deny. Look, she's fighting everything. Deny. Deny. The allegations contained in paragraph 16 of the complaint are for damages or denied except to admit the upon information and belief that she did drown in the pool. The allegations state conclusions to require response. However, out of abundance of options, these allegations are, guess what? Denied. She, thus far, is taken as the little of owners of this situation as possible. So as y'all understand, as y'all people going up there and buying these funky drops that she's putting in your head, and y'all head that's burning y'all scalp to the core, know one thing, that this woman, when faced with a federal lawsuit to which she was served by the United States Marshal Service, that's how serious this guy this woman is fighting a grieving mother instead of reaching out and saying, let's try to, let's 
it just shouldn't have got out. My bad. What it is we could do? As y'all making her richer and richer and supporting her and supporting this devil, you have to look. <sighs> the allegations contain paragraph 20 of the complaint of damage, attempt to state legal conclusions, and require no response. However, out of abundance of auction, these allegations are denied. What? These allegations are 21, require no response. So she says. Her defenses are the plaintiff complaint for damages fills to the complaint which a relief can be granted. Any damage alleged by the plaintiff was caused or contributed by the plaintiff. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Girl. She said, listen to this. Now, you got to understand what's going on here. Read this, people. Any damage alleged by the plaintiff was caused or contributed by the plaintiff's and or descendant's fault. Or want or do care if any recovery should be precluded or proportionally reduced. Do y'all y'all understand what I'm saying? She said the plaintiff, which is, check it out. Let's read it and understand. I want you to understand what this woman is saying about this woman. So Judy was the defendant. The plaintiff is Andy's mama. Any damage alleged by the plaintiff and his mama was caused or contributed by plaintiff and his mama and or descendants. Who's Andy's mama descendant? Andy She's basically Saying That's Andy and her mama fault Look at this Look at that She said it's Andy And, and or And or descendants Descendants of Andy's mama is Andy Peep game don't let that go over your head. Plaintiff, that's what it says. In the, this is what it is. Any damage alleged by plaintiff was caused or contributed to by plaintiff and or descendants fault or want do care and any recovery should be precluded or proportionally reduced. Basically, if you do give them anything, give them a little something because it's their own fault. This disgusting, wretched human being. I would have fired my lawyer. You don't ever do that to disrespect this child. You don't care about this child. You care about your fat, funk ass and how much you can trick off to the black. This is woman in her defense saying, it's Andy fault. It's the mama fault. If anything, I might just have to give him a little something. This is what, this is who y'all, this is who y'all, this is what, I know I'm Moses. Lord, I feel it. I'm Moses, but I came here to knock down all them golden calves y'all been worshiping. Pay attention. She's blaming Andy and Andy's mama for this. Horrible person. The cause of the incident was due to superseding and our intervening acts of which Ms. Dupont had no control and Ms. Dupont cannot be liable. Plaintiff's claims are barred by prescription. The court is without jurisdiction matter in so much as there is no diversity in citizenship between the parties here too. What? The court should excuse me telling the court what to do. Defendant pleads a doctrine of assumption of risk, all of which will be more fully shown at the trial of this matter. Understand this. Defendant pleads the doctrine of assumption of risk, all of which will be more fully shown at the trial. Matter. She fully intends to take this to trial. I'm not adding nobody right now, so it's not it's not time for that. She fully intends to take this to trial. No act of commission of Ms. Duport was approximate contributing answer to such company. So her, uh, any damage laid by plan was caused or contributed by fault, negligence, and one do care, breach of contract, expression of other person's business. Oh my God. Defendant reserves the right to assert any all okay. So she basically saying, fuck you. Fucking ass. That's your fault. The most I could give you is Alyssa. If you need to understand some more about the backstory, please, it's on YouTube, my people. You just got to do your research. I apologize. I'm not saying, I done told that story a hundred times. You just got to understand it. She, 
Shea is getting sued. Shea is part of this lawsuit as well. I went in depth about this whole thing. I done cried about it. I I can't go through it no more. I'm sorry. Basically, yep. Yep. Trifling. She didn't give her anything. According to this, according to the court documents, she didn't even pay for the funeral. Which I thought she, I thought she, like she was boasting about like she did. Like, oh, I paid for the funeral. Like, you didn't pay for the funeral. Because this woman is actually suing you for the court, for the funeral cost, Mo. She's suing you in the, fun in the, in the case for the funeral cost. Do the right thing. How she? You somebody said, "Listen, sister, listen." You say, "I hope you do the right thing." She had the opportunity. That she was she was served for this case on August seventh, sister. It's October 9th. You know what she did on October seventh? Two months to the day of the date she was served, she fought back and says, "Everybody fought but mine. I shouldn't have to give this woman nothing but a a, a, a bag of colada, whatever this concada collagen, and I might buy some wish makeup." That's what she said. What you mean she hoped she do the right thing? She's not doing the right thing because she intends to take this woman to trial for this. She's basically saying that this woman, she can't be having mental anguish and all that stuff like that. And she did. It came from her before that. Don't be, don't be misconstrued. I want to just cry myself sometimes. How could we do this? How could we be so heartless to these people, to, to innocent kids? How? How could we do that? How could we do that? How could we do that? How could, how, how could we do that? I ain't tripping about what they call me. I ain't tripping about what they say about me. I ain't tripping. But for these documents to be leaked and this come out that this woman is being sued and all the truth is in there and all she can say in defense is that's on them. That's on the four year old. Blame her. <sighs> on top of that, you posting pictures by the pool on the anniversary of this child's death. She did not pay for the funeral according to the complaint. Look, she's being sued for good funeral costs. That's one of the things in the lawsuit she's being sued for. She couldn't have paid for it. Look at this. She, funeral expenses for Emma Andy. She couldn't pay for the funeral. Because she was being sued for it. Going on, Chad. Allegedly. All right, Sippers. Y'all was looking for the bonus there. Sip Cosmetics. That nigga with your bonus. I got to sign up because this one hurt. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm I, This one here. And I, I just. This one here hurt. And to see this woman do this. Because of this, baby. This is why she don't work for Judy no more. It's too much. It, I, I don't know. This one, y'all know this. This one, this one story. It's not like the stupid story. I could just cuss out and keep it pushing. This one here hurt because it was with them kids, man. 
It was with them kids, bro. That shit hurt me. I, that hurt. That convict my spirit to my soul. And I don't care what people say. How? Oh, you obsessed? Oh, let her make it. I can never, ever, ever do that. Ever do that. My stomach hurting from this. This poor child. Them kids. Them collider kids. Go look at them. Go look at them stories and hear that. If they don't kick it, but your spirit, sister, you not even. You not human. Oh my God! This one hurt me to the core. I, I, and I never met a woman that, that would do this to somebody's kid and then after that exasperate the situation the first thing I would have did was pull up on a mama baby I, I, nothing gonna bring her back let's try to do something let's set up a foundation let's do some work for her let's do some stuff in her name let's try to make some moves so this don't happen to nobody else's kid something yet and still the thing you do after this happens you go out for drinks go by the bread or Bentley and then get naked by the pool on the, the anniversary of this girl's birthday I'm glad she decided to sue, and I hope that everything goes in our case, whatever. Um, I might can reach out to the lawyer and ask him if you want some free paralegal work, girl. If you got off work, you have to catch it on YouTube, baby. I'm about to get off. She has a daughter, two sons. Catch up the video will be going on YouTube. I love y'all. Uh, stay safe and sweet out there.